Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the dollar yen as prices come into a key area of resistance. So are we looking for the dollar yen to basically continue to the upside or are we going to see price start to reverse in and around this 134 spot 50? Well I think if you look at it from a fundamental point of view on the bigger picture, I'm expecting price to continue to the upside. If we come up into a weekly time frame, you can see that we've broken out of this bearish channel most recently. If we've come up to a monthly time frame, we can see that we're in a still at this really strong bullish trend in here. And uh, I'm expecting this to now become another impulsive phase and for us to start trading back up towards the 147 handle. And fundamentally, that could happen because the Federal Reserve are under pressure at the moment to try and bring down the rise in inflation rate. So we saw inflation rise, we've seen uh, employment figures rise in the US and the Federal Reserve don't want to see that at the moment. So they may have to hike interest rates for longer and by more than what they're suggesting already, which is around about the 5% mark. The Bank of Japan, on the other hand, are looking to keep rates super low and that doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. So the differential in the fact that the US are looking to hike interest rates while the Bank of Japan are looking to keep rates low can see the, the price of dollar yen continue to get stronger and continue to move higher. And uh, looking at this at the moment, we can see from a technical point of view, we've broken out of this bearish channel. We tried in above the 131. This is where we were looking for retest to go long in our previous videos about dollar yen. We're now up into the 134 spot 50. So we need to see how price reacts here. Now, the FOMC meeting minutes are out on Wednesday. That could give us a clue to what's going to happen next with the Federal Reserve. However, looking at this recent rejection in here, um, you know, if price breaks above the 134.50 or the 135 handle, I think that's going to open the door for buyers to up to the 200 daily moving average there, or a move up towards the next area of resistance, which could be the 137 spot 80 or even the 139 handle. Now, if I go to a lower time frame, you can see that price could be potentially forming a head and shoulders pattern, which is not necessarily what you want to see if you want to be a buyer of the market. You want price to continue to make these higher lows, continue to push higher, continue to trade higher above the 135 handle. What I can see at the moment is the potential for a head and shoulders pattern to form. And I think if that completes, I'd want to see price come down to the next level of support, which is around about the 133 handle where we can see these highs in here that were acting as resistance could turn support before seeing a continuation to the upside there so that's what i'm going to be looking for here on dollar yen if price pulls back then we've got the opportunity around about the 133 handle if price trades above the 134.50 135 again i think that's going to invite a little bit more buying into the market at that point with options to trade up to the 200 daily moving average or even beyond up to the 139 obviously then we need to view the trend because the reason why i think we may get a slight pullback at the moment is just because we've extended into the high you know naturally price will make higher highs and higher lows as it goes um so i'm expecting maybe a little bit of a pullback before the continuation move um, however if this market remains strong you know we could just see price continue to the upside you know we had the, a, a really strong rejection here price didn't recover the move you know so we could be expecting price to come and fill this void up here for instance so that could be where we target as well um, but what I'm trying to say is that you get that impulsive phase sometimes that's that aggressive you don't get the chance to get in on the sort of pullback which could happen if the market does take off to the upside here so we'll have to keep monitoring this but if we do get that pullback it could offer us some trades and opportunities to the upside here on dollar yen hope you enjoyed this video update if you did leave me a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more of our forex trading content and i'll speak to you in the next video